It's huge. Now I hope we get to use the infield for this track because the front stretch is actually pretty steep. It's got a lot of banking. If you actually stand in the seats, you can't even see the front stretch. But if we were to do a show in the infield, man, that would be sweet. We got a lot of room. Just a neat space overall. So I'm actually looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, it's going to be kind of a wet week here. It's going to start raining in the next half hour all the way through Thursday. It's Monday today. But we do got some work we got to do. We got to change a third member in Wrecking Machine. I swapped that out. That'll take an hour. Hell, maybe two hours. It don't matter. We got a whole bunch of time this week to get it done. And hang loose just needs pre-racing. What we had to do last weekend was take the drive shaft out. Take the sun gears out. And that way this whole thing can move on front wheel drive into the trailer. But all we gotta do is take these hubs off. Spindles, axles. And we can take the third member off. Just by undoing all these three quarter inch bolts. And that should be it. So, sounds like a lot. It's really not. Other than maybe it's just a little messy. But, it ain't raining today. And it starts raining. It was pouring harder a second ago. So, we're going to put this on hold. We'll see what happens today. But if not, we'll bust it out tomorrow. Raindrops are falling right. on my head. And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. So I just did. I'm talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got things done Sleeping on the job Those raindrops are falling Okay, so first what we gotta do is we gotta take this faceplate off We're gonna do all these three quarter inch bolts You're gonna see the whole planetary gear The whole All the planetaries are attached to this faceplate That'll come out. Then you'll see the bowl gear. You pull the bowl gear out. Then you can take this whole hub off. After you get the hub off, all you see is the spindle. Then, once the spindle is exposed, you undo all the spindle bolts. Then all you see is the axle. Once you remove the spindle, pull the axle out. Then you can take do the same thing for the other side. Then you can take this third member out. Locker, diff, whatever you want to call it. Pull that out. Put a new one back on. Put all this back together. But once you get started, it's like an, a light switch goes on. You just go and go and go. And no matter what, this will be on at the end of the day. So it's going to be a little bit weird to work around the mud, but we'll get it. Full gear. This is the hub. Get the rest of my whole Ready? One, two, three. If he brings you happiness, then I wish you all the best. Cause I'll be there before the next 
Teardrop phone. She's coming back with a vent. Spin those out. Oh boy. See it in there pretty good. Now that we got all this out, Chris is doing the same on his side. Once his side's out, we can take the third member out, put a new one back in, put all the corners back inside. Okay, go up. Kind of get this lip over here. You know uh, what I mean? Up to the edge? Yeah. What are orders to? Okay, we're just gonna dump this thing in there. Yep. Ready? Yep. Hold on. Hold on, we're cooking. Okay, go. Okay. Now. Is that bolts? Yeah, but can you give me that cat's claw? And go down just a hair with the jack. All right, got it. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. your face to get close to the hub and stuff you know I wouldn't trust me think that's good
Where's the trash bag at, Rudy? Up oh, there they are. Well, my phone died before I can finish taking footage of what we were doing. We got all the rear end back together. We got our hotel booked for the week. Enjoy some pizza. Kind of relax for the rest of the night. Falling on my head. And just like the guy's feet are too big for his bed. Nothing seems